don't call my phone, don't call my leave me alone, leave me alone. No, I can't come home, I can't come home. I'm on the road, I'm yeah. You don't fuck with me the way you say you do, you say you do. I know we Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been a couple episodes or a couple weeks we've been not doing it, but look who's back. Matt is here. Yep. What's good? But, What's good, y'all? But you can see Raymond's not here. Raymond ha uh, has to really focus on school, so he taking time off. I know right after he was sick, so it just... I he he has school going on. I'd rather him pay attention to that than this. So th that's why he's not here. But um, yeah. welcome back to welcome back to the anime talk. But Matt, take us off from here. Well, uh, first off, I just wanted to say you know sorry that I've been a little bit absent. Uh, things I've been a little bit busy with my part. You know, just like you know, just uh, you know, figuring out like a uh, new place to move here and there, of like you know, helping out with like housework here. But um, beside all that, I've been doing okay. I hope everyone else has been doing all right too. Okay. And uh, to start off with this, we'll uh, I guess we'll start off a bit sad. I guess. Uh, the past few recent days, I, I've been a little conflicted because um, I heard we the huge uh, fan base of anime has suffered a huge loss. Uh, people who've also been watching anime since the '90s, probably. Yeah. Uh, back then, I was I was a Dragon Ball kid, you know. I, I every more every Saturday on Toonami, I remember every airings of every Dragon Ball episode since day one, and fucking, ah, oh man. Those were the days. But, yeah. Uh, apparently, Akira Toriyama, the creator of the Dragon Ball series, is dead. He's passed. R.I.P. Huh? I said R.I.P. Yeah, He man. started a... all the, this anime that came out after him he started it all he's literally a legend yeah you know the godfather of anime the goat the the beginner of a grand of the legacy. uprising yep the uprising of anime started with dragon ball then that's the just city. that there's been like games that he created other stories blue dragon chrono trigger dragon quest oh man wait he created dragon quest yeah oh, i him. never do that yo dragon quest the animation was is crazy lily dragon quest and lily looks like every dragon ball character <laughs> <laughs> how could you it. not how could you not know that <laughs> i i didn't realize that's all I can say. Wow. I didn't realize, but I'm shocked that he created that. Yeah. Uh, although Dragon Ball Super, it's not exactly. Uh, well, I guess you can say it is still his own rights, but apparently that's somebody else that's working on Dragon Ball Super, is what I heard. <clears throat> oh shit! Damn. So yeah, Dragon Ball Super is still going on, but you know. It, it sucks, you know, that it's still going on, and fucking Akira Toriyama is just not with us anymore. It's just, oh my god, it's sad, man. Yep, after I finish Bleach, because I'm watching Bleach right now, but after I finish Bleach, Dragon Ball is definitely my next up. Yeah, well, don't, you know, just don't start off with Dragon Ball Z. You gotta start off with the main, main beginning, you know, nah, when yeah. Goku was a kid. I'm gonna do my research on how to watch Dragon Ball. <laughs> the most memorable moment I've ever had in Dragon Ball ever of my life is when shit got like really really dark and all of Goku's friends started dying right in front of them one by one against King Piccolo. Okay, okay. Don't don't spoil anything yet. Don't spoil anything yet. All I know is uh some characters. I know it goes up the power up go all the way from base form. To Super Saiyan, to all the way to Ultra, Ultra Instinct, but that's all I need to know uh, right now. But I'm just saying, 
Dragon Ball was the very first anime that ever lightened up my entire life. It was the building block of it made me the very person of who I am today, of a guy who loves the fuck out of anime. So Dragon Ball was your first anime? Yeah. I if can it wasn't say for Naruto is mine. If it wasn't for Akira Toriyama and him, you know, creating Dragon Ball, I, you know, I never... For when he died, it felt like a huge piece of me died with him, you know? No, I feel you, man. I feel you because Naruto it was my first one. But the anime that made me love anime is One Piece. One Piece, yeah. Like, no, Naruto still is there in my heart, but One Piece is tough. like 99% of my heart. Because just One Piece, the storyline actually, like, like interesting for like like every other anime that i watched there was a lot of plot holes it was some not really interesting some have some basic ass stories uh the character development's not good but one piece has all of that everything you can think of that uh, anime should work on or anime needs this one piece has that the only downfall about it that people don't like that I really hate one of the reasons is... It's just all the filler, right? No. It barely has filler. Barely. Uh-uh. If Literally, it's like 1% filler. Right. But the only thing is, people say, oh, it's too long, it's too long. I caught up in five months. I took weeks off, okay? Weeks off from watching it and still caught up in five months. And they, they, the, uh, episodes was around Gil five time, okay? So, I caught up in five months, and I still feel like it's too short of an anime. Like. What is? Which one? One Piece. Which one are we talking about here? One Piece. One Piece? Yeah. And, but, the, it drags on a lot. I, I would give it that. It drags on a lot. But. Yeah. With how much shit going on in One Piece, mostly now, and even in Wano or Whole Cake, or even after the time skip, there's so much that's going on that Oda needs to, uh, like, put in well, it's, for it's, information. It's, it's understandable for it to be stretched on because there's so much information you need to take in, even in one most episode. Most of the stuff we know... Most of the stuff we know never began as anime. They always began as manga to begin with. Nah, and yeah. Like, it's like the manga, it may be a little bit shorter, but it's like, it's way more up to date than the anime is right now. No, of course. That's always how it is going to be. Some some animes didn't start as manga. It started as anime. But a lot of yeah. these animes start out as manga. But, like, I understand that. Because in the anime form, you've seen them walking, not doing, like, talking that much. That's you really can't really put it in the an- the manga. Because, like, it is just not, it is just something there. But, like, in the anime, you see more. So they have to add small details. Some stuff that's really wasn't in the, the, the manga, but still canon. They have to add a little bit like that. Like, some anime should be stretched out more. But no one's talking about that. No, yeah. No like, Naruto. like Naruto. Like Naruto. Like no downfall on Naruto because Naruto started me off at starting like an anime. But Naruto, when I watched it and understanding more what anime was at the time, I didn't understand there was a lot of filler, there's not a lot of plot holes, this and that. I was just watching it, I was I like it. Then one piece I started getting into it and trying to understand it, this and that. Then I look back at Naruto and I'm like, yo, no key Naruto sucks. Like, those fifty percent of the show have plot holes. Literally forty percent of the show is filler. Like bruh. Naruto Loki sucks. If you think about it, it Loki sucks. What? Because of the whole uh whole prophecy idea at the very end with the fucking yeah. N- not even that. Like I'm just I'm just saying like there's so much stuff that we don't know 
that's involved in the show of Naruto that should be known, but the I can't think of the name who created Naruto. Like he didn't. Uh, he, yeah, Kisamoto. He he didn't give us a lot of the information that makes us would would make us understand the Naruto universe and the Naruto storyline even well, more. Maybe, like, maybe it's up, up to us to probably like you know just look, give a deep dive and look into it. You even know? the YouTubers like, that's based off Naruto series and based off the information of Naruto and all of that, they even said there's so much plot holes that does is not can't be filled in with the information that we we know. Yeah. Like but, the timeline is all over the place. I like. I, there was one thing about in Naruto I liked what they did. Uh, like in Naruto, you never really knew who the main bad guy was. Was it Orochimaru? Was it the Akatsuki? Was it Pain? And there was it really Madara? And then finally, the big reveals at the final <laughs> end. Oh, Kaguya's been pulling all the fucking strings. <laughs> the plot. But, the plot. I I would I did give that to Naruto. No, that was a good plot. There was a good yeah. uh, twist in the story. Like, I'm not saying the right. old, a lot of it is bad, just the stuff that's bad about Naruto makes the show Naruto not as good as people give it. It's a good starting anime. I can say that, but if you actually dive deep down, Naruto is not a good show. In order for an anime to be the good anime, is uh, that you just, you literally feel like that you're going through the adventure with the main character. Like, you feel exactly how the main character feels. Oh, yeah, you, Naruto does that good. You feel, you feel their pain, you feel their, you know, you feel exactly what they're going through. You feel the intensity of their battles throughout, through and through. No, yeah, I feel you, but... Compared to Naruto to other shows, I would bring up two animes. One, it is seen like bias, okay, but I have a reason. And the other show, I would probably get hated on just for this, but I don't give a fuck. The first show, I had to tell you the reason. The second uh, show is the same reason, okay? One Piece. Almost every scene that has a dark a uh, sto- backstory or something sad or something hype it gives gave me chills up my spine all across my arms and all of that i felt the emotion in the anime that's top top two the i and i watched it in sub i usually like to watch anime in dub just i like to understand it more instead of reading it i like to pay attention to stuff i like to w- see the little details so I, that's why I like to watch it up. But when I was watching sub, I still felt it. Still fucking felt it. Not understanding, still was reading it. And I felt it. Oh, it's crazy because One Piece was the first show that actually gave me tingles like that. The next yeah. show... This, the 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 anime that kind of like ever gave me the feels like that wasn't exactly well I mean there was that King Piccolo arc but that gave me feels all the time would have to be Yu Yu Hakusho my okay. second anime I I still need to watch that but I, I I'm trying to finish the the big three and Goku's or oh, Dragon Balls the dark before I start doing the dark that. tournament is probably the best arc in the in the series hands down <laughs> okay okay but the second anime that gave me chills and. These two I'm naming because, in my opinion, how they made me feel, the storyline, some plot twists, and character development a little bit. Just small little stuff that, no, like, if it was known when it was getting creative all the time, they could have fixed, but they can't really now. It, the second one is My Hero Academia. I oh, hate, yeah. I hate the fan base. It took me so long just to fucking watch it because of the fan base. But when I did, it's a great fucking show. There's a it, lot of fan bases out there we just really totally agree, yeah, uh, disagree with. <laughs> yeah, the fan base ruins it. But if you ignore the fan base and watch it, 
it's actually a great fucking show. I ca- I'm all caught up. I'm waiting till the next Sometimes season to drop. You just gotta block out the negativity and roll the dice. <laughs> it's not even negative. It's just the fan base is so fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's weird. Like, you say. no, yeah, they. it's like one of the worst fan bases, in my opinion. But No fan base is ever perfect. <laughs> no, everyone has their flaws. Yeah, you I know, but my Hill Academia has stepped over the fucking line. <laughs> mm-hmm. But them two shows, they did the stuff that Naruto, like, should have done bit, uh, better, way better. Way better. Like, there was not a lot of plot holes in My Hill Academia. Uh, I don't I don't know what's filler or what's not in My Hero, but I don't I think a lot of the stories in the anime is connected in canon. But like I don't really detect any filler in My Hero. I think it's just like straightforward. No, I know I saw I saw a couple filler folks. I did. You did? Yes. Uh, I forgot what they it was called. I don't know what episode, but I saw a couple. I saw a couple, and I What's watched the it. One? The which one? The Mister Smiley one. <laughs> I don't know. There's seven seasons, so I really can't remember the names and shit. But oh, it it it's. That was a good one, but Bleach, where I'm at right now, um, it was like right after the mask. I forgot what they called it. I know you told me it. Then Louis, right, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Them. The uh, yep. They uh searching for uh Ichigo. They found him and trying to eat uh a cl- like bring him in the the clan or whatever yeah. you know, they want to fucking call it. And he right, rejects, and they keep on pushing. That's, like, where I'm at right now. And I figured so, out his dad was a well, fucking Soul Reaper, too. That was a fucking big, uh, shit. I was like, yo, what the fuck, really? You So you basically have already seen the backstory of Shinji then, right? Shin- Sh- Shinji, uh... Describe the character. Much, he's pretty much the leader of the Vizards, pretty much. I think so. I th- blonde think. haired guy. Oh, him? Yup, yup. Yeah. Okay. Uh, has, a really, has a really weird smile. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, last thing I can remember is when Ichigo grabbed him from class and like was like interrogating him and telling him, asking him why the fuck you here type shit. So that's yeah. where I'm at. That's the last thing I can remember that happened. But yeah, bleed at the be it's, it's kind of like One Piece a little bit. At the beginning, it kind of boring, but if you just push through the the beginning, it gets interesting. Right, right. I can say that about Bleach because at the beginning, I watched it and I was like, eh, I don't like this. Ever since, uh, ever since when Ichigo met the Wizards, it's been like a huge building block for him to control his hollow powers. No, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Um. Uh, He's like, I remember one, uh, one, uh, one scene when he was sleeping and that ho- the hollow power was like saying, oh, are we coming closer and closer and closer every second. And yeah. then like he popped up right in front of him, like him and shit. And like, like I remember that and he woke, like, woke up or something and like his sister came in the room and just, like exposed, it was like, oh. I know you a soul reaper, and he try to act like act like he's not, or don't know what she even talking about. Then he had to leave to fight uh, a soul reaper. No, not a soul reaper. Uh, a hollow not, or something like a, that. It's not explained now, but explains later. One of his sisters has the same power to see ghosts like him. No, yeah, I know. Is uh, the one that confronted. Yeah. Yeah, she said, I know, I saw it, I saw everything, this and that, and the incident when they went to, uh, her mother, their mother's, uh, um, uh, a grave and shit like that. Yeah. Like, that scene, like, she mentioned that, like, it's getting pretty interesting. 
Yeah. Oh, shit, shit. Oh, fuck. Have you noticed so far, like, he's literally the only uh, one that can interact with his hollow self while the others cannot? I don't, didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. But I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see that. That will be explained later. Okay, okay. But, um... I saw... So, um... Back to Dragon Ball, real quick. I saw this, um... Um... This, t uh... Not TikTok, this YouTube short. And it says... Uh, it scaled Goku... Like, power levels through the out to show and Luffy... Luffy, yeah. it said Luffy can beat Goku as a kid form, even the full power kid form, but he can't beat base form growing Goku. Right. Basically, Luffy in his prime is able to beat probably kid, uh, kid Goku. Oh, it, they, it said it, he can whoop kid Goku. What yeah, in but... fifth and even like from base form to gill five, he he can uh each like stage up he he can whoop each one. But when Goku grow, grows up to adult, even in gill five he can't do nothing. It's like three thousand yeah. to like five hundred power level or something mm -hmm. like that. But there is one advantage that Kid Goku would have against Luffy. But the thing is. It would only be in a full moon. Oh, even in that form. Even they, as a great ape, he yep. could be... Uh, but uh, Gale, really? five, Gale 5 can do that, yep. Oh, yeah, well, I, I thought you were just talking about, like, normal, you know, beginning Luffy. Oh, no, like, at the beginning, no, but uh, I think they said... I think it said Gil 4 can be the great ape, but Gil yeah. 5 can't be based from uh, adult Goku. Oh, really? So That's basically, what they said, ultra, yeah. So basically, if it was Ultra Instinct, it'd be, basically be Overkill. <laughs> oh, Overkill. Goku it yeah. would, it would toy with Go, uh, Luffy. But I, I kind of sound biased, but it sounds reasonable. I don't think it's correct because it's not a professional scale or like power scale in multiple universes. Uh, YouTuber that did it, it was it seemed like a some random person, so I don't really believe it as much. But if I see it yeah. from a professional, universal, uh, power scaler in anime, then well, I would uh, believe it. But well, I still stand. Later, go ahead, go ahead, real quick. Well, sooner or later we might be getting a a more much more modern power scaling, but in video game wise. True, true. But apparently, I apparently. Apparently, there's this new video game in the works that plays exactly like League of Legends, and it involves every shonen anime. Oh, shit. Yeah, it, it's literally in the works. It's a MOBA, and it, I mean, it looks, it kind of looks better than Pokemon Unite, but it plays exactly like League of Legends, but it's literally Goku, there's Luffy, there's freaking Ichigo. It's oh, that shit. Sort of modern... That shit's yeah, gonna be even... competitive as fuck fuck yeah every game that's like that is already competitive but i heard it's pretty much beta testing and, and it works but it, it even has some of the most uh, modern animes too including magic muscle oh shit oh shit. it even has demon slayer in there jjk in there okay okay oh if you mentioning jjk i have an opinion on it jjk what i feel like jjk is a rushed anime. What? A rushed anime. The story seems so rushed to me. Well, kind of, because I think it's pretty much all already at its final arc. Already. No, yeah, I hold it is like on its final arc. I feel like just because of that, JJK is mid, like low diff mid anime. It's a good anime. I'm saying that just, just because. It's a low diff. It doesn't mean the anime is bad. It just have compli like some stuff wrong with that anime that could make it better. I just feel it's like it's so rushed. 
it just has very, very, very short beginnings, and that it just, you know. <laughs> no, yeah, like, season three, but I finished season two, season three, I'm mad confused, I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? Like, yeah, many yeah. people are dying already, left and right, and, and yeah, fucking Sukuna has out of fucking his body and shit like No, that. I'm talking <laughs> about when it, when, uh, from season two to season three, it skipped to the, like, a back, a back, uh, story, like, yo, what the, I, I thought I was skipped a season or something, or oh, skipped I, a I couple episodes. I think they were trying to do, like, an immediate res vibe, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I get that, like. Like, I started watching JJK when, the, like, recently. Like, when season th four, I think, came out. Or what, uh, the new, newest shit. I'm like, this shit's confusing. Like, they rushed right into this. They had no introduction to this. No, uh, build up to this. It just went, boom, here's a backstory of someone that you did, you, is not noticed yet. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Why couldn't you put that backstory when that character got introduced? Like, right. it's so confusing. And on my scale, it's not even in my top 10 animes. Right, right, right. It's more on, like, one of my worst, like, non-favorite, like, one of my least favorite animes. Definitely in my top five least favorite animes. JJK is probably number five. Number five? Yeah, because it just... Majority of I the mean, time, I didn't know of, what the fuck was going on. I like, mean, it's one of my most favorable modern time animes, but most of my modern favorite of all time is, like, in the past. <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah. A lot of the older animes are good. I mean, there are still a few good ones that are in modern times. Oh, yeah. Soul 11 is pretty good. There's one that's not out yet. Kaiju oh, that, yeah, that cool. Kaiju one that was coming out next month. <laughs> Hell yeah, yo. That, like, yeah, the, yeah. the newer ones that are coming out, the new, new ones that's coming out, they definitely, in my opinion, the way it looks, the storyline it presents to us right now, better than these newer animes. I'm not gonna lie, the the guy that kind of looks like the main hero, it looks like looks like a uh, monster skeleton. I think I'm gonna call him Scully. <laughs> Scully. Uh, Scully. <laughs> it's got it's it's so close to Sh Sully from Monster mm -hmm. Inc. But Scully. Yeah. <laughs> She's out of our hair. <laughs> Oh my god, but guys, if you don't already know, we're making our own anime, but Matt, I definitely want a skeleton that's just named Scully now in the anime. <laughs> uh, skeleton, skeleton. <laughs> nah, just Scully! And he gets Mother mad when... Scully. No, he, he... Scully. Scully! My, my name is... My name is Skellington, but my friends call me Skelly. <laughs> but but what the, his one trait of him that I want on him, he gets mad at people when he, they they say his name normally. Like, hey, Scully. It's like, it's not Scully, it's Scully! <laughs> <laughs> like like how Brooke always asks for, to see woman's pennies. He just get mad because you don't say his name the proper way. <laughs> Mr. Bones. <laughs> and, and the way you spell it is not like capital Scully's S and lowercase. It's just all Scully. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, yo, that'd be funny. And what the goofy character that we're gonna have in can be, but have the nickname for Scully, Mr. Scullyton. Scullyton Wishbone. <laughs> and they just all, all, always argue because he can't say his name right and he won't. That yeah, should be funny. The Skellington funny wishbones. <laughs> oh, it says Brooke joined the crew of One Piece. Brooke definitely is my top three favorite Straw Hat Pirates. Wait, now, as soon as he joins, isn't he already with the Pirates? <laughs> no, I said I said when he did. 
Oh, when he did ah. Okay, yeah. Okay. So before he joined, it was Luffy, Zoro, Chopper, the top three. Then after Brook joined, it is Luffy, Zoro, Brook, then Chopper. And then Robin is the very the first pilot. time that I ever met him. Zoro was like, "This is exactly why I wanted you to go with him." What do you do? Fucking wipe your asses while taking a nap? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love how Zoro is so laid back, but when he gets mad, he's hot-headed as hell. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, well, we definitely need uh two characters in the crew to dislike each other, but always work good together. Like Zo and Sanji. Oh, kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, Cartman and Kyle. <laughs> yeah, or well, so best best example is like Zo and Sanji. They never yeah. agree with each other. They hate each other. But when they need to fight together, they fight together and still whoop ass while fighting each other. Right, right. Like I just love that. I love that concept of two characters in a crew. It just. There's always two people that don't like each other in a friend group. But it's like they don't, it's not like they don't like each other. They just don't get along frequently. Opposites do attract. Yeah, so it's really like that. Like, I'm like, I'm not exposing that anything. Main, that but, was literally the whole main scenario of Inuyasha and Kagome and Inuyasha. <laughs> see? Always yeah. the one, always one of the like one like a good anime always have two characters that have a friendly rivalry. They talk the most shit to each other, but if one get hurt, they always got each back. Just like brothers, like that brotherly bond type shit. Right. Like they all they there have to be one in every anime. Like even Demon Slayer, it doesn't seem like it. But Inosuke is that crazy one. And Inosuke is the competitive uh, muscle go-getter, while uh, Tanjiro is just the determined, laid-back kind of guy who's, like, extremely kind, while Zenitsu is the guy who just doesn't know his own strength yet. Yeah, it, it, another way of saying it, we got the crackhead kid, the yeah. the mother of the group, the feral wild and the big <laughs> bitch that that you don't want to piss off. Right. That's literally that crew in Demon Slayer, and it's always oh then then the the shy shy one Nezuko, always hiding in the box. But can be bloodthirsty. <laughs> yeah, it's literally like the videos on. Looks like a cinnamon roll, but would kill you, Nezuko. Right. Definitely Nezuko. Actually, that's all three of them we'll, right there. Yeah. I don't think we'll be seeing her like uh, mostly in the box anymore now. Now. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I hold. Uh, she finally uh gained the power to uh. Be in the sunlight. Like be yeah. in the sun and not blown away. Like um. Right, right. Actually, no, now uh, Muzan doesn't even have that. That's what he wants. That's his goal. He wants so the power of Nezuko. Much the, so is that pretty much the reason why he ha he let Nezuko be a demon? <laughs> I th so, so what I think, this is my prediction because I'm not really up to date with uh, Demon Slayer, but I watched uh, when... Uh, the, uh, I don't know if there's a new season four, but I think, oh, see, I don't know how much seasons, but the season where they, uh, the, the village will all the swordsmen, swordsmiths live, and, yeah, they, it's the, uh, Hachira training arc. Yeah, that's, that's where I end up, I'll end of that, but my opinion on what Muzan's, like, goal is and why he uh turned some demon or uh, some humans into demons is because he's trying to find what nezuko the power that nezuko has to basically, not burn the up gene. in the sun basically the gene the bloodline that's good enough to walk in the sun <laughs> yes and i think because 
Isn't he able to like also like share his consciousness with, with his other demons as well? I th I don't I'm not 100 about that, but I think he made Nezuko a demon because he's maybe sensed the power in in her, and I think that's why how he decides on choosing a human to uh, be a demon if they have enough willpower or wants like dedication to something that can help maybe, him in his dream maybe he knows they're may, they may they may be like related to uh wh what's his face um uh oh the sun uh, sun breathing uh demon slayer yeah yeah but i can't remember his name what's yeah his i mean name i i don't know but i know exactly who you're talking about but i th i don't think muzan thinks like knew Nezuko was in that family because uh, the only one that really looks like that that de uh, that that demon slur was uh what was the 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 uh the mother of the crew's name uh the main character oh the I can't Sick. think of his name. Nezuko's brother. Oh, wait. No, that's not him. Ah, uh, shit. I can't think of it. Tanjiro. Tanjiro. Yes, Tanjiro. So, I think because Tanjiro wasn't there at the time, Nezuko had the strongest power there. But if uh, Tanjiro was there, Tanjiro would have died. Just because, right. just because he looks just like him, just like him, and I, th I think that was his father. Yeah, that was his father, or grand, like great grandfather, or something like that. But uh, it's just a uh, similar, and I feel like just because of that, he would have killed Nezuko, because that's he. Uh, Tanjiro would have said, that's my sister, don't own my sister, or something like that. Then he'd be like, oh, that's his sister, let me kill him, oh, too. Right after I kill you, type shit. Right. So, like, because Tanjiro wasn't there, he oh, didn't yeah, there, know. there he is. I found it. Uh, Yorichi. Yorichi. Yor yeah, him. But, like, so, I think that's why I think Nezuko was became a demon and I don't think he knew that Nezuko would have that power because I hold that he was shocked of seeing Nezuko awakening that power right and now I just now I think because he knows he would try to get a blood well, sample or something know, and try to f f f walk something part of it she did a part of it, she didn't really do it alone. She had a little help from the uh, demon that was supposedly a doctor. Oh, the the one that's uh, not with Muzan. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it's totally yep. against him. Yep, yeah. I, I remember that. that I I think it, the medicine helps her awaken her power faster. Yes. But um. Let's move on to a different topic. Let's uh, talk about some one one v ones. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. I got one. I got one. Ready? Champa. Bosses. Bambi. <laughs> no, no. Deku. Oh, Deku. Champa versus Deku. Like uh, season one ish Deku no, or like both yeah. both full power. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, I want to see what you you think of it. I mean, it's it's a clever matchup. It, it sounds like a good matchup. Chopper, if you yeah. just see him, you don't think he can't can do shit. So I feel like that would throw off Deku so fucking fast. Because how much of a crybaby he is and a bitch he is, he would definitely be like, oh, he's so cute. And they just, like, talk. Then Chopper, Chopper's slick, though. 
Deku has like had his share of like fighting like uh, enemies that are like way way bigger than him and actually like way more clever than him at the same time too. No, yeah, uh, yeah, I know that. His fight against Muscular basically was the building block to get him more stronger, while his fight with Overhaul was the building block for him to get a taste of his full power. Okay, but the thing you need to think of, in my opinion, this is my opinion, and I think a lot a lot of people would agree with me, Chopper and not uh, Monster Point, just musk the one he get mad muscle on shit in that form i feel like he can uh be a, a Nem nembu or whatever they they call them beasts yeah champo can easily beat them easily uh, okay. but i don't feel like deku even at his full power right now can do that because if he right. if he did go over his full power at, that we know that we saw he can he easily injure himself, and Champa right, right. has Monster Point that can easily def, like, not easily. I would say mid, uh, difficulty, def like tank them. Champa can easily tank that, in my opinion, mid def tank. Right. Easily, but the thing that I I that can go either way is they both have the similar. Uh, strength to hit but I I feel like monster point Chompa would definitely win in that but it won't be an easy death it would yeah, be a high mid death Deku doesn't just have like the one for all uh, strength capability he's uh, has like a mil he has like more quirks and oh one. yeah he I has, know like, I know I, I, I put in a mind with that death. I put my mind in right. the, with that, but if Champo was in uh, Monster Point or even his his base form, and Deku tied him up, you know how easy Champo can take get out of that. Uh, Priya, yeah. But... Easy, uh, base form Monster Point breaks it, boom, instantly because the I transformation never... is pretty quick in the anime. It yeah, seems but fast, but never... it's quick. Have you ever seen the My Hero Academia movies yet? Yep, I, I, I'm up to date with everything in My Hero. I, I'm, but I'm just saying, yeah, but Deku pretty much at like 100% uh, one for all on with Bakugo. I mean, yeah, he, he was together with Bakugo at that one final fight with the villain that was able to control the weather and shit like that. But he, him at like 100% one for all was able to hold his all against like a, a huge freaking tornado and was able to fucking, you know, obliterate a tornado with a smack of his fist. So if he's able to like, you know, uh, do that, then wouldn't Monster Point probably not be much of a challenge? You need to think about the scale of each anime. One Piece scale is ridiculous. Think about that. M Monster Point Champo stand his own against Queen. And Queen yeah. would easily, easily low diff. Low diff solo Deku. Solo. You know how much hits Queen took by Sanji and so much other shit? And that can easily beat Deku? Sanji can easily beat Deku. Easily. Low diff. Easily. Deku. Boom. Yeah. Okay? Moko went one, one on two on King and Queen. Okay? And can wipe my heels Academia so solo. Moko solo. Not fast, but does solo. Okay? Champo was holding his own against Queen when Queen was fighting against them two. Them two. And the only reason Moko stopped because he was getting drained. Right. Oh, and it was a 1v2. Uh, Sanji did the same thing, kept on going and still beat Queen. And 
on top of that, M Monster Point Chompa was holding his own against Queen. Wouldn't win, but holding his own. Deku can't do that. Deku can't do that. Chompa was slamming Queen, taking la uh, laser beams, and kept on fighting. And he's pretty swift in that point. Chompa would hold his own against the big monster that they fought at the end of Season 7. Would, would win on high difficulty. High difficulty winning against that, and uh, Deku couldn't do shit against that. So overall, you know, Chopper would have the advantage, and Chopper would probably basically would win. Yes, but not easily. Chopper is smart too. You can was, uh, you can say that he's smart. There was, he can uh, think about shit. You, have you watched uh, uh, something on YouTube, uh, Death Battle, here and there? Uh, I used to watch it back then, but it's been years since I watched a death battle there was, and shit. There was a death battle that involved the Deku, and he was up against Asta from Black Clover. Okay. I feel like but, that would, would be a good fight, like a real good fight. Yeah, the, the winner to that one was uh, Asta. Yeah. And Asta, yeah. Asta can't fight something big. Mm -hmm. Like, yes, he has a powerful attacks, can fight monster-like beings in his show. They that... were matched up because they both basically have the same beginning. Mm -hmm. Asa was born magicless, and uh, Deku Hopeless. was born yep. hopeless. And got the powers, and got to learn how to do it, no matter, even though it, it damaged them. Yep, I know about that, yep. They 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 literally like the same same person. I think one of them copy right. each other. Uh, which one came first, Black Clover or uh, My Hero? Uh, Black Clover did. So My Hero copied, uh, Black Clover, because if you think well, about it, it's almost the same thing. Well, kind of. Well, in a way, once you think about it, both Black Clover and my I think both Black Clover and My Hero were kind of inspired by Naruto a little bit. Yeah, I heard about that too. Mm -hmm. Because Naruto, well, he he did have, was able to perform jutsus, but he just sucked at it. <laughs> yeah, he was the weakling out, and the, then became the strongest, yeah. Right. But, uh, I really think Chop, but back to the, back to the, no 1v1, I really think Chop would win in high, mid difficulty. But what's your opinion on that, and, like, the, te the details why you think that yeah uh, yeah I think that you know that was like you know, well thought out well detailed I, I you know I could I could agree you agree the same reason uh, but like what's different in your opinion on mine what's the different opinion on the fight between Chopper and Deku yes like if you have other reasons why you, you, you say like say uh, Chopper like what's like what's all all those things you can say that I didn't say? Well, for for starters, um, he still Chopper still practically has to use like the the, the pills they interact with the different forms. Correct? Uh, no, I th only one he need to use is Monster Point. Oh, okay. And it la it doesn't last three minutes anymore. It lasts up to ten minutes, and I like. Yeah, the downfall about that is he gets super, super small and can't fight, but I really believe he can beat Deku in time. If he that use that wisely, at the end, if that's like his last choice, he can use, he, he would win. And I know Chopper would not use Monster Point till he needs to. He's small like that. Basically, Monster Point is like needed for desperate times, called for desperate measures. Yeah, it's like, like, uh, Goku's Spirit Bomb. Like, his, like... Be in the uh, battle of the universes, bomb, the spirit bomb doesn't fucking work. I'm sorry. No, it I know, I, I mean, know it there doesn't work. One time it worked against Kid Boo, but what was the point of it? You resurrected Kid Boo anyway. <laughs> but like you, but what I'm trying to say is like, 
the their final move is usually their strongest move, and they only yeah. use it when they need it. They won't bring it out in the false move, but they would bring it out if they, like, the last priority move. Yes, I say that. That's the last priority move. Monster Point is uh, Chopper's la uh, pri last priority move. Now, Vegeta, hear me out on this. I'm going to use a spirit bomb. No, why not? Give me one good reason. To I'll give you three. You used it on me. Did it work? You used it on Frieza. Did it work? And you didn't even bother to use it on Cell. Well, yeah, that's because I knew it wouldn't work. <laughs> but you used it on Jill and it got pulled back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, yes, but um, Chapo definitely wins that for us. Definitely wins. But, uh, you have a 1v1 idea you, you, we can, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, talk about? <laughs> Let's see. Who do I have a good matchup against? I would say Monster Point versus Titan Aaron, but no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, actually, that is actually a good one. What, the normal Titan Aaron or the founding Titan Aaron? <laughs> uh, uh, not the founding Titan, because that's definitely Aaron winning that. But, yeah, uh, uh, Attack Titan versus Monster Point. That's, that would, that's definitely a high death fight right there. That's a high death fight for either one of them. We talking about, like, Attack Titan before crystallization or after it? <laughs> Ah, uh, um, I think I just started, like, I'm at the fullest part of the final season, so, ah, uh, I kind of forgot what crystallize, that, that, that just toughens the skin, right? Crystallization is the ability for them to harden certain parts of their body, like yep. arms, legs, like almond and ho like hockey type of shit, like, right? Yeah. Okay, yep, yep, um. I got there. I remember he used that to crystallize the gate. Um, I would say Alan would win that if we gave him crystallize the crystallize, but Chopper would win that with crystallize if he had ominent hockey. I feel like Chopper should get ominent hockey. Well, he doesn't know hockey yet, right? No, Correct. no, not at all. None. No, not Conquerors, not Observation, not Ominent, no hockey at all. Ah. Uh. Yeah. But, uh. That can be a whole ass fucking video. That can be a whole ass video right there. Yeah, it would. <laughs> That'd take, that's like a whole hour video. I believe that's probably like 50 to, to an hour in 20 minute video. It, mm. it can we can go so deep into that because Monster Point is actually really fucking powerful. A battle of the princess, Mister Prince Sanji versus Vegeta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Vegeta! Sanji is not Sanji is the third strongest. So, <laughs> no, not the third, the fourth, fourth strongest. He went back after Wano. <laughs> Damn, mm. I feel bad for Sanji. Okay, but my real, uh, my real input, let's see, um, hmm, I mean, uh, nah, you don't know this character very well, I'm not gonna say him, um, <laughs> yeah, you don't know what uh, Hiei from Yu Yu Hakusho yet, so I'm not nah, gonna, I'm yeah. not gonna. I watched the no, live no. action, but I bet you there's not a lot of information. Oh, that key a sucked. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I, I probably, I already guessed it. I was like, yeah, they didn't put no information in this. This shit seems so fucking rushed. Yeah, I'm not taking nothing out of this. I'm just watching. The OG it. animated Hie is fucking way better than that. Oh, but... I already, I never saw that, but I already guessed. I already guessed. I was, gonna, I was like, yeah, the anime seems so much better. I was literally, I was literally about to match up Hie versus Ace. Because <laughs> oh, yeah. Hie is a fire apparition demon, okay. while Ace, you know, flame fist Ace. <laughs> I was about, I was about to say, just based off live action, a live action one of that Ace whooping him. Yeah, whooping but him. But there's, 
I'm just saying there's a disadvantage between uh, he, there's a huge disadvantage between Hie and uh, Ace because Hie his uh, flames reside uh, from his own demonic power and he's able to conjure like fucking uh, demonic flames from hell itself called the dragon of the darkest flame. <laughs> yep, and I bet you he can survive magma. Ace did it. And you know, Damn, I you want to know something else. Bad. PA can literally absorb the dragon of the darkest flame. <laughs> yeah, and fire from hell is hotter than magma. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't, I don't know that, but I'm saying be, just from that information, dragon, he's dying. The dark, if the darkness flame itself can come from hell, and if he's able to absorb that, then he can literally defy hell himself. <laughs> I, I got another one. But, yeah. but, uh, uh, it's, it's an easy win for, not Ace, but for the other one. I was about to say Itachi yeah. versus H Ace. Yeah. But if Itachi just used, uh, Amasu Rasu or, like, really, I never can't pronounce that. Would, that. Be, that would be interesting. Dragon of the Dark Slayer versus Amaterasu. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and Atashi is super fucking small. He can use his smallness to help him kind of like regenerate his uh, stamina because he's really I have another. Like... I have another matchup, but this matchup does involve Madara, but also involves a video game character. I don't know you know of him. Uh, what video game character? Uh, Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. Oh yeah, I never, I never played that. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. Hear me out. Madara versus an Endeavor. Oh yeah, Endeavor. Hmm. That that would be that would be a good one. Yeah, and his most powerful move uh, move is like a nuke. A founder of the fire village versus a a hero made of fire. <laughs> or we can you do Endeavor versus Natsu. Yeah, oh yeah, that'd be good, that'd be good. Actually, Natsu would win that. Easily. Sasuke, Sasuke versus Todoroki. <laughs> Ooh. Damn, thinking about that, that actually sounds like a good fight. But, Sasuke's so much faster. Better, uh, fire. And the eagle can, uh, blow the fire away. And... But... Nah, Sasuke wins that. Thinking about it, Sasuke wins that. What's the uh, what's the uh, ice marine's name again? What's his fucking name? Uh, Akainu. Yeah. Well, basically, uh, Akainu. Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, Aokoji versus uh, Todoroki, but just the battle of the ice. <laughs> oh yeah, if you uh, tell. So if I I always call him Ice, yeah. So if I'm talking about Ice, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. Icy Hot <laughs> I if we have Icy Hot only use his flames to cool him down, and he can't yeah. use it to fight. It, it, I oh, I just feel like a, a Kainu is so much better because he can fight for five days straight. He can cover yeah. a whole, whole a half of island. I bet you he would cover a whole island in ice easily. He wiped out Big Mom's pirate easily. Really? Yeah. Well, the, 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 the ice marine? Yeah. When he... Oh. I'm not gonna show it because it's copyright. I'm gonna mute it too because the audio. Yeah. But I'm gonna what, scream... The, did what? he use the pheasant back? <laughs> You just, just wait, just wait. Uh, uh, I still think that could have been called like uh, or something like that. <laughs> Big mom. Wizard bird or something. Who's <laughs> it <Frozen> back? <laughs> I kind of Big Mom pirates. Big Mom. I want to show you what happened. Listen, How do you spell a, a, a kainu? 
No, I can do. That's the one with the lava. Oh, uh, well, then, what's his name then? Uh, I think it's Kuzan. Kuzan. Kuzan Iokiji, I think. Kuzan. Wait, is it this one? No, not him. Uh, I didn't say ice. Maureen. Uh, Maureen. Wait, is it this one? Oh, yep, this is this one right here. Let me mute it. Uh, screen share. You, will you see it? Hold on, I'm not, I'm not seeing it yet. Has memorized their application, so it's a... Because of that. Oh, shit. How about now? Still nothing. Oh, fuck. Uh, Alright. I'm so fucking tired and hungry. Okay. Uh, can you see it? All I see is just, uh... A corrupt screen full of a screen and green. <laughs> Damn. Try to click on, uh, you see three, like, icons right now? Yeah, the microphone, the uh, air bubble, and the rocket. Oh, not that, not that. Yeah. The one above it, above it. Like, like, owl icons. Uh, yeah, I think so. Is there three? No, um, hold on. Let me let me see something for a minute. Uh, oh wait, I saw it again. Let's minimize it. I have a sit tight. I don't I don't understand. Oh. For some reason, I'm able to see it on the stream, uh, the watch stream part. But for when I hit watch stream, it doesn't it doesn't show it. It just says stream paused. <laughs> Oh, so, uh, can you at least see it, uh, when you not click it? Okay, uh, yeah, I think so. Alright, uh, I'm gonna play it, let me, see, let me, uh, let me know, uh, if it, uh, woke. Oh, that's a bit of video right here. Okay. Can you see it? Let me see. It's playing. Is it working or not? No, not really. Damn, why is it not working? But, no, no. uh, but what, uh, but what he did, he literally froze over Big Mom's, uh, whole, uh, island. Yeah. Like, whole, whole territory was frozen. Over with ice. Right. Like, like it's nuts. And I don't think Icy Hot can do that at all. At all. Like, he can shoot one out straight, but he can't push it all in a whole 360. And he can't right. direct it straight towards someone without hiding with hiding it. Icy Hot can't do that. Out. It's called El Kiji, yeah. A O K I J I El Kiji, that's who. Yeah, but I thought his like a uh, full name was Kuzan El Kiji. It probably is, but. Well, uh, I Hold don't on, know. I'll, I'll switch it up. But, 
He. Yeah, that, that's his full name, Kuzan Aokiji. Okay, okay, bad, bad. But he would easily kill Icy Hot, easily. No matter yeah. how hot his ice is or how hot his fire is, he's freezing. It. His ice is sub zero. <laughs> Probably even colder. I we don't know. But he would easily wipe out the Myobos easily. His by ice himself. is so cold it makes pheasants. <laughs> he throws crackle in a second. In a second. <laughs> like people say if Katakori was there. He, they it, they wouldn't have done it, but I feel like he category would lo lose, but in like a super super high death fight, LKG would doesn't definitely it, be injured at the end of it. Doesn't like Doe kind of like I don't know like harden up on like cold temperatures. True, true, true. You got that, but it doesn't stretch. Ah. When it freezes, it hardens so you can't stretch. So that's like a a downfall for uh, Category. But if he gets up, because Category is pretty quick, but LKG is quick too. But if kinda Category like how, can, good. Kind of like for how if rubber would be able to freeze and then it actually broke. <laughs> yeah. So it's like what uh, Luffy did when he fight uh, One Piece pieces Eminem. Mm. He had his hand covered in gold, and he used that to fight a nail. Right, right. It it would if it would be like that, but how cold Alkiji would. Um, uh, Katagoyu gotta move so fast that he need to be starting to heat up to out out heat the freeze. Mm. Because I don't think Kat, uh, Alkiji can hit. Katakuri with his ice from far range because the future sight, but if Alkiji touches him, he's done. Right, right. Done. Like he did with Cell. But, yeah, oh my god. The new episode, so much fucking information. Mm. Oh my god, yo. At the end, we gonna watch it. I don't, I don't right. care if I get copyrighted for that. I can just mute it. <laughs> but, like, we wa we gonna watch it. We watching it. Like, I can just, like, when I post it, it'll give me a copyright because of it. All I have to do is just mute that, uh, press mute the whole thing and it just mute it. Mute the, the video, not us. So, right, right. I can just do that. But, oh my god. Crazy, crazy. I watched it before, before I even messaged you guys. But <laughs> it so much information. Vega Punk exposed a lot. Oh my god. I'm not trying to exp like uh, spoil anything till we watch it. But <sighs> real good. I like it. I like it. All I can say is Bonnie almost killed Vega Punk. Didn't we, like, uh, watch, like, a bunch of, like, episodes and it never really got, like, uh, banned before? Oh, no, we did. We did. I had just had to do the same thing. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. damn. I just had to, uh, mute everything. But, Copyright yeah. right, Bill. It's like, yo, we reacting. Like, it's not copyright if we're reacting. Anything. You're still able to hear our fucking commentary. <laughs> nah, yeah. But... Crazy, crazy. But uh, any any more one v ones? Uh, no, not today. Nothing, nothing really. What I can think of. <laughs> I I kind of have one. Mm hmm. I got one. Hear me out. Hear me out. Rockley. Okay. He Rockley can get to seventh gate. Okay. I'm gonna say that. Versus oh, yeah. Baki. Oh, Baki? Yeah, I remember. 
<laughs> 1v1, one of them. Well, them 1v1. Rock I mean, Lee, uh, 7th Gate versus Baki. Yeah, we've never really seen uh, Rock Lee in the 8th Gate before, have we? No, the Even only like reason why I'm saying no 8th Gate is because it, it would be overkill. Overkill. Yeah. And plus, he would die afterward. Yeah, is and if Baki doesn't lose the L, Rock, it, it would have been a lose lose for Rock Lee. But right, uh, because Baki have some good ass defense, good right, ass right. defense. So that's the yeah. only reason, just to make it feel. It's been a while ever since I watched Baki. Holy shit! And I've been like uh, hearing rumors that Baki might be coming to a fighting game pretty soon. Oh, that'd be fucking lit. That would yeah. be lit, but not many, not many people also remember this anime back then. Does anyone remember Ultimate Muscle? <laughs> well, I never heard about that. Oh well, I mean, uh, obviously it was like uh, overrun by four kids, but yeah, apparently that was like a really, really, really popular anime back then. <laughs> okay, okay. It wasn't like like martial arts it was literally ultimate muscle was literally about wrestlers <laughs> oh so it's like just like a like wwe if it's anime it's basically anime wwe yeah <laughs> <laughs> that, that's kind of funny <laughs> yeah but i i hold that full metal Al alchemist is the oh, best yeah. anime of all times oh shit Roy Mustang versus Fire Fist Ace. That would have been good. Hey, we can talk about that too. Because Roy Mustang is the Flame Alchemist. Yeah, that would have been good. But I don't know nothing about that, so I can't really give my opinions on that. But uh, Full Makeup Metal Alchemist is definitely the anime on my list after Dragon Ball. Yeah, you will. You you won't be disappointed. Full Metal Alchemist is great. I, I hear guarantee you. so much. I never hear nothing bad about it. So I mean, there's the first. There's the first anime adaptation, and then there's the remake anime that's called Brotherhood. Brotherhood is way better than the original, and I think. <laughs> I I'd I watch both. I'd watch both. Yeah, but. But actually, when I watched that, I'd let you know if Final Fantasy Ace versus that guy would be actually a good fight. Yeah. But let's talk about Rock Lee and Baki. Like, like, what is Lil Reigns? Who would win? Who would? Who's out doing what? But let's 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 talk about that. Let's Baki. We don't really know much about his speed. That nah, I took out of it. He's fast. I'm not saying he's not. Uh, I'm just saying Rock Lee could be faster because he was able to, like, you know, hold weights for, like, you know, for weeks and weeks in training. And then, like, holy shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I don't know if we should give him that or what because I feel like Rock Lee is fast enough by, like, with the, with the weights to fight Baki. Right. Because without the weights... I don't know if Baki can keep up. I really don't. Yes. Like, yeah, yes, Baki's fast. We saw it. But Rock Lee, that anime is d different, so the speed that we see is a lot slower than it actually is. Plus, just the startup and, like, the impact of the Premier Lois uh, is almost instantaneous. <laughs> mm hmm like that's the thing. If Rock Lee got get Baki on in the like the Lotus, would Baki survive a neck drop from that height? Right. Like that height that he did was the same height that in the Baki universe said that's a a way to that's a suicide for a, a person in that right. universe. But Baki landed it, survived, but had a lot of in total bleeding. So I right. really feel like if that happen Baki is done Rock Lee would win but would Baki let Rock Lee get him like that right I mean and plus Rock Lee has like suffered some injuries and pulled through it like he was able to get through like crushing sand of his arm and leg mm-hmm and uh 
the only way he survived was Tsunade's uh, cell uh, surgery that they, he, she did. Right, right. But, if he was able to get out of that, then, you know, maybe, you know, he could probably get out of anything. No, nah, yeah, but with Baki. I don't know. I'm not sure. That's the thing. Baki. I, I think Rock Lee would pull it off. But if because Baki have a real good awareness and can can like the, his reflexes off. I I feel like his awareness and reflexes is stronger than Rock Lee. But if if it was Drunken Fist Rock Lee, Rock Lee would wipe Baki. But we're not counting that. We're not counting that. Undrunk right. Rock Lee. Is weaker in awareness and reflexes than Baki. Baki's stronger in that that stats, but I feel like Rock Lee is physically stronger, but not by a lot. Right. Like ba Baki can fucking hit hard. He fought a caveman, man. Pickle, Pickle is crazy, crazy. But, uh, what else Baki is? Oh, Danger Sense. Baki has Danger Sense. Remember that? Almost like Spider Sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, Rock Lee doesn't have any Danger Sense or anything like that. That's just his awareness telling him stuff. That's not Danger right. Sense. Baki does. So, Baki can avoid a lot of Rock Lee's attacks. Right. But can Baki keep it up? That's the question. Can Baki keep up? Is his stamina higher than Rock Lee? Because one hit of Rock Lee, Baki's the gun. Right, right. But Baki, Baki can dodge. That's the thing. Can Rock Lee hit ba uh, Baki and can Baki keep up up dodging? That's the question that I'm asking you. I want to know your opinion on that. Well, I mean, Rock Lee, he can dodge, but I mean, the thing is, he can dodge, but when he's like drunken fist, uh, uh, Rock Lee, then holy shit, he can literally dodge anything. He was able to dodge blows in his sleep. <laughs> no, yeah, that's why I'm I'm not giving it give that to Rock Lee because Rock Lee would drunken fist Rock Lee would wipe Baki. Wipe him easily easily. A easy difficulty that Baki Baki ever, would definitely wipe him. Did he ever use that again or did he just like forget about it completely? Uh I think just because of that, I think Guy Sensei told him what happened, and since that, yeah. Rock Lee doesn't drink as much, I think. Uh. <clears throat> Just because of that, like, I, I really feel like Rock Lee and Ten Ten is a couple. But so, if he would, if he could, he would, he would, he would use it again, right? Oh, I, I feel like he would. Uh, yo, if Rock Lee fought. Uh, what was the Okusuki that, uh, uh, Naruto lost K Kurama? Um, I think, ah, uh, shit. What's I forgot it? his name. Was it Jingen? Oh, uh, Jigen! Jigen! Yep. Fucking, Rock Lee would, Drunken Fish Rock Lee would easily wipe out Jigen. Oh. Hands down. Hands down. No chakra, and that's the only reason why Sasuke and uh, Naruto was having difficulty with him. Just because they had chakra. Rock Lee doesn't right. have shit. Only fists. He pulls up like, what's up, what's up? Hands down, no, all fists. Jigen has nothing against that. Nothing. Right. Rock Lee's strength and power can easily combo Jigen. Easily. Give him drunken fish and take all the weight off him. He can be fully naked. Speed blitz him easily. Right. Rock Lee can... I, I, in my opinion, I feel like Rock Lee can solo the o o Okosuki's. Solos. Easily. Right. Easily. 
Have Sakura on his side just full of backup and healing? Easily. Easily. Right, right. So quick. Yo, maybe after every fight, he got to heal up, go back, bump seventh gate. Oh. Oh, easily. Easily. Is the eighth gates, the, the seven gates, uh, a part of the Senjutsu, or is that completely Taijutsu? I think that's completely Taijutsu. Oh, okay, so it's not spiritual in any way, no I'm, willpower. I don't like know, that. I don't, I think that I hold something about that, but I can't remember. But, uh -uh. I, I, what, how I look at seventh gates, is seventh gates is like eighth gates, but weaker, and you don't die from it. Oh, uh, okay. That's really the difference from 8th gate and 7th gate. It's twice as powerful. And, but it's so, you using so much force that your bones break easily. And your uh -huh. sword depletes. Kind of like uh, Deku and One for All. Whatever he just uses the, the full power of One for All and his bones break. N yes, but worse. Uh -huh. It doesn't take his soul away. The 8th gates do. Well, at least they don't need an old lady kissing them to make them having their bones grow back. <laughs> yeah, yo, just thinking about it, Aka from the an our anime, he just hugs. Yeah. He's a huggable little kid. He hugs people to heal them. But do don't piss him off. Don't piss him off. He can knock you out in one punch. Who do you think is probably the most powerful healer in all of anime, Tsunade or the... the the healer granny and my hero. <laughs> oh, Sonata, easily. She, ah. <laughs> uh, the gra granny, she can't heal cellular, cellular level stuff with her powers. Tsunade uh, can. Can. It's difficult, but she's the only one in the Naruto universe that can. Maybe Sakura some, now, but yeah. And for some reason, the, the granny cannot heal herself for some reason. Yeah, I bet you if Tsunade uh, broke her leg, she can heal that herself. It'd probably be painful as shit. Right. But I mean, the, but the a thousand heals, the thousands. That too. Healing. Don't Ooh. forget, forget <laughs> about doing it herself. The thousand heals and just heal that shit up so quick. Right. Yo, like, oh, Tsunade or Sakura, Boruto Sakura and uh, uh, War Oak Tsunade. Like the pow most powerful version of Tsunade. Tsunade's still alive, isn't she? I think so, but she's like old, old. Ah. Yeah. So, I, a lot of people would disagree with me, but I, I have to say Sakura. What? That Sakura has like um, the Sakura has succeeded. Sakura won uh, in a one v one versus Tsunade. Sakura wins. Well, yeah. I mean, she. Seemed like that she did succeed her, so you know. yeah. And it's can't. This is canon. Sakura and Boruto can beat Madara. Midif. Like just plain, plain base Boruto or Boruto with the Karma Mark. No, I'm saying Tsunade. No, not Tsunade. Oh. Sakura and Boruto. That uh, time can beat Madara and it's canon. Ah, uh, right, right, right. It's canon, so no one, no one can't say Sakura can't beat Madara. You know, because he, you know he how the Uchiha's have the Susanos, right? Yeah. You know what that kind of reminds me of? Uh, what? The stands in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's similar. I see it. It's it's kind of the same thing, but it's. It's different, so it's different enough to, for it to not be copying, but right. it's similar enough to be uh, inspired. Yeah, but I'm just wondering, what would it be like with uh, in Uchiha, what if a Susanoo would fight a stand user? <laughs> uh, I feel like the Susanoo that would mostly Atachi's. Oh, yeah. Atachi's well, Susanoo. Um, yeah, but if fucking Dio's stand is able to stop time, then... <laughs> True, true, but um, Atashi can make him seem like he stopped time in uh, Genjutsu. Right, true. Yeah. So. And most oh, of the suit. 
and some parts of the assistant are supposed to be like impenetrable armor. Mm hmm. But it's not really impenetrable because there's a lot of Uchiha's that got knocked down to the assistant, yeah. like Sasuke and by Madara. Yeah. There are some stands that can stop time. There are some stands that can reverse it. There are some tan stands that could, like, uh, somehow be much more faster in a time skip. It's really complicated to understand <laughs> some of their abilities. You gotta go deep in detail with that. <laughs> And some stand, and some stands are able to like give life and like uh, convert it to to inorganic life. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, I I really don't like uh, um, is it what is it called JoJo's Bizarre yeah. Adventure? I don't like that anime. It's, uh, the I, I I just feel like it's so weird. Yeah, that's fucking makes. Fucking say you you have like freaking uh, shoes that are made from crocodiles, right? Yeah. And if the stand touches it, oh, they're back to crocodiles again. <laughs> oh my god, crocodiles for feet. <laughs> and like, oh well, there goes your legs, bitten <laughs> off by your own shoes. <laughs> I don't think that could would be possible. It just, I don't know, it just, it just doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> it does, it do, uh, it's weird. Uh, yeah, yeah. The premise of it, I think it's supposed to be bizarre, so, you know. <laughs> it definitely is. Right. It definitely is really bizarre. Really fucking bizarre. But, um, hmm. I forgot what I was about to say. Uh, damn. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So, um, we are out in 26 minutes in. So, uh, let's do one more topic. And the topic is, uh, what new? Uh, what's new? What's new? Yep. Well, you know, like I said, uh, Solo Leveling is a new anime. It's pretty good right now. Uh, Kaiju Eight Number Eight looks pretty good. Uh, I kind of, you know, I can't wait for that one. Uh, I, like I said earlier, there's this new MOBA anime, a game of all animes tied in one together. Okay. Okay. And uh, let's see, what else is new in my opinion? Um. Oh. I got what's new that I, I figured out. Um, Naruto, uh, I, uh, Naruto's animation, how you, you know, they re uh, reanimating Naruto, right? Oh, really? Yeah, they, it, it been for years, and it, it been out, I think, for, for a little bit. Like, like how, are they, like, completely reanimated, like, the very first episode and all I that shit? I think they already reanimated everything, because I saw, uh, a clip of a reanimated eight gates guy fighting oh, Madara. Huh. Mm-hmm. I think it was like some sort of like anniversary special thing. <laughs> I th I think they did that did uh reanimated it for that, yeah. Yeah, but, like it was like some sort of like special a animated film, like like what they did with like the recap of films of One Piece, like oh it was the entire like you know crocodile arc, it was the entire you know Arlon arc in one, you know what I'm saying? Mhm. Mm I didn't watch it myself oh. though. Yeah. But I saw a clip of it, and if it's yeah, true, I, I think it was like. Yeah. If it's true, it's they did a really good job. A really good job. I can say that. I mean, I, I mean, I like the idea. I I like the idea of like you know what what the animation could have been with what we're seeing right now. <laughs> oh my. What so? What anime would you like to see reanimated? Oh God. I would like to see a reanimated version of Yu Yu Hakusho. Okay, okay. I, I, I like would probably. That. I would probably would like to see maybe a. 
I mean, there are some anime fights that I really want them to reanimate. Like, like the rean like I w would like them to reanimate them. Uh, Goku versus King Piccolo. Well, I had a feeling that you was about to say oh, okay. Goku, like okay, Dragon yeah. Ball and I'm stuff. My shit, like I don't know if I'm working late. I probably get out like mid afternoon. Oh, hold on. Okay. I'll probably get out in the afternoon and come over here and clean up all my shit, you know. Uh, okay. But the panel's done. I just gotta put the cover on it tomorrow. Yeah, you. Uh, you holding up? Okay, you doing okay? Yeah, man. I'm fucking. I'm like mentally fucking drained. Uh, you know, I'm starting to see wires that fucking don't even exist and shit. Uh, Everything should be on them. Okay. I'm just gonna do one of these. Thank you. See, that's lit. The 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 ovens are working. That's so it's a uh, time. I just put that on. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's off. I fucking I didn't realize it was off. I'm like, fuck. I didn't even realize it either. No. Anyways, it's up. Okay. I'm gonna set the clock up. Okay. All right, I'm out. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Have a good evening, Matt. Sorry that this is like really hard on you. No, it's fucking. Dude, I can't. Once I started it, I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking just leave shit fucking dead and start a fire. Yeah, I know. Right. All right, sorry about that. It's all good, it's all good. Yeah, that was uh, the electrician Mike working on everything. I, I. But yeah. uh, we a minute and 30 seconds in. Uh, let's start watching that, the, uh, the, 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 uh, the new episode of One Piece. Okay. Then uh, we that can end it. That is if the streaming shit actually works this time. I don't know why it wasn't working at first, but oh, no, it will. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh my, legs. oh, my legs. My poor arms. My face. <laughs> uh. Uh, okay, okay. Go live. Yep. Uh, huh? I left something downstairs. Oh. Oh my god, not this again. It's doing it again, Deej. Uh, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, it's doing that same stream pause bullshit again. What uh, the fuck? no, I think I need to be, uh, have it clicked. Oh. Uh, stream pause. Let me see if I start it. Nope. Uh has a cricket noise. Uh, how about now? Oh, good night. Oh my god, oh my god it's doing it again. It's still doing it. Uh no, give me a second. Those fucking bastards, they've cut on to us. <laughs> uh I think I'm no I didn't fix it. Uh report problem. Um right there was some met. Alright. How dare they ban our viewing pleasure? <laughs> uh I um I reported it, so yeah. Uh, but let me see if I can fix it. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Permissions and by nothing. Oh shit. Oh wait, the power's back on. I just realized I can work the microwave again. Yeah. I can fucking eat. <laughs> uh, was the stream? Reminds me. Oh, so stream mode right there. Uh... Automatic enable and disable. Enable stream mode. You can. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not walk. Really walking. Are you 
Jeeves. Probably the frames, would it be the frames? It could be my neck walk, but since I have a good neck walk right now. Hmm. Oh, this is weird. Fucking weird. Why is this doing this? Uh, shit. <laughs> uh -huh. I really think it's probably my connection. Could be my connection. Cause there's so much people on the Wi-Fi. You know this. <laughs> but I can let you know what happened. So, uh, we figured out Dr. Vegapunk was connected, or uh, had a friendship with uh, Dr. V Vegapunk. And, uh, the the island that Robin was born when it was uh, destroyed uh, Dragon and Vegapunk uh, collected all of the books that they threw out that the government tried to destroy and, right. and they saved it from the, because everyone they everyone sacrificed themselves to save the books threw them out into right. the lake there's so, something in the books they just don't want anyone is else the, seeing. It is the history that they try to uh, destroy. The Void Sentry the, is the Void Sentry. Right. Reminds me of the infamous box in fucking Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then, uh... I remember, go, go. I remember getting so freaking fed up that I was like, What's in the box? Tell me what's in the box! I want to see what's in the fucking box! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know that, I know that one. But then, uh, Vegapunk explained, uh, his devil fruit. Yeah, Vegapunk has a devil fruit called, I think it's called the brain brain fruit, that he said. So... The brain brain fruit? So, what it does, everything that he sees, learns, or reads, uh, he, so he, it, like, learns like that. So, does it make him into Albert Einstein? <laughs> Smarter. So, more and more knowledge and stuff that he learns... Makes uh -huh. his brain grow, okay? So, that egg on top of the island? Remember that? That big egg on top of the island? Matt? Yeah. Uh, that's his brain. Mm -hmm. That's his head. The whole big ass egg on top of the island that's floating... That's Vegapunk's brain. His head. Yeah. Yeah. He, he cut it off. He cut his head off. Because it was too big. And then he... Sp the other Vegapunks there... He yeah. made them. He split his personality up and sold some stuff. Like that. Right. And... All of them are connected. So let's say one of the Vegapunks loaned something new... All of them Vegapunks would know exactly what she loaned, or he loaned, right away, yeah. in a split second. So that what we loaned. Um, but I, I'm not 100% sure, because I need to rewatch this part. But I think, this is, remember, I think Vegapunk told Bonnie that he made... Uh, uh, Kuma, the way he did to help out with yeah. Luffy and all that because of Dragon. Yeah. And 
uh, but the world government forced him to make Kuma the way he is now as a robot. But then, uh, Vegapunk told Robin about the books. Right. And then, remember Cell, the giant that saved Robin? Uh, yeah. He's alive in hiding. Are you? He's alive? And he's, he's in hiding, protecting all them books. Oh, you know... Oh, yep, hold on. Oh, you know, he, he, Robin's probably going to be happy to see him. <laughs> no, Robin was crying in, of joy. Oh, okay. I'm like, fuck, man. I fucking forget. Yeah, my fucking yeah. wasn't on here. I believe it's the basement. Right. So, so yeah, uh, she, she already met him again then. No, not yet, not yet. Oh. But a Vegapunk vaguely said he's fine, he's in hiding. But Vegapunk's kind of Vegapunk told Robin to keep it a secret Vegapunk too. Vegapunk steampunk. <laughs> in a way, in a way. But that island that they on was there a couple hundred years ago. I think they said six hundred years this island was the same. <laughs> Followed. That's good. Have a good one, bro. You too. Thank you for today. I lost the bottom lock, right? Oh, okay. Thank you. But the ending. The ending. Oh, my God. Yeah. Guess who's who's uh, coming after Vegapunk? Who? I want you to take a lucky guess. I, I didn't give you a, No, I didn't give you a hint. It was one of Luffy's enemies that he fought. Is it Lucy? Yup. Lucy's finally coming to the island. Yes, he is. The fucker from the world government is fucking back. Rob this fucking Lucy. This whole guy. Yup, he's uh, back. Yeah. He's back. The leopard motherfucker. Yup. <laughs> and the way it ended was, Vegapunk, I'm coming to kill you. You know, it's kind of funny. He also came back in a video game, too. Hey, Rob Lucy is on... Uh, Another one of the main antagonists. Buggy, so Blackbeard, and Rob Lucci. Is Luchy. Luchy's most powerful enemy? No. Blackbeard is. Or is that... Who? Blackbeard. Kaido? Kaido, at the moment, yes. The, the strongest enemy he fought. But Blackbeard is the main antagonist. Right, but would Kaido be able to beat Blackbeard? Hmm. I don't know. Because I mean, if you think about it, he uh, Black Blackbeard got almost shit himself when he saw Rayleigh at know, Amazon's still, literally. So I I think Kaido was great. I actually loved Kaido. Oh, Kaido was one of the best villains. Right. One of the best I villains. So. Yep, I I would say to him, category, Smoker. Crocodile, Big Mom, uh, yeah, I would say them was the best villains Luffy I had to fight. But it's kind of funny though, fish, fish, fruit. What, would you, were you expecting to actually swim? That's a loophole. <laughs> so, uh, with that fruit, Kaido's fruit, the fish, fish fruit, it's slowly based off the Mythological you know, story, yeah, of, just like Magikarp, just like Magikarp. Think yeah, about Kaido world. as Magikarp and Gyarados. That's mm -hmm. literally exactly what they based off. Wow, so each dragon has like their own magical power. What's yours? I'm a very, very strong swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> but then, then uh, we figured out uh, Vegapunk is a genius and a perfection perfectionist. Right. So. Uh, he learned about, um, uh, Momo. Is, Vega, uh, is Vegapunk the one who made, you know, Kuma the, the way he is? Yes, yes. But, uh, so, Ve Vegapunk was a, is a perfectionist. Want to know how we know? So, remember the, the, uh, the, uh, the man-made devil fruit that, uh, Momo ate? Yeah, yeah. So, 
that fruit supposedly was a failure, okay? Yeah. In Vegapunk's eyes. That's okay. So Vegapunk ass is like, uh, oh, who ate the a uh, failure uh, uh, devil fruit? And Luffy said, oh, Momo did. And he said, oh, that's a failure. But then Luffy was like, no. Uh, uh, he turns in, into a dragon and can breathe fire and all, all what uh, Momo did. Then Vegapunk was like, what color was the dragon? Momo, then Momo, uh, uh, Luffy said pink. And then Vegapunk just threw a, his, a little hissy fan and said, it's a failure, it's a failure. And then uh, Jinbei was like, oh. He's a genius and a professional, uh, perfectionist. Oh, I, I think I have another one v one idea. I, I, uh, let's end it there. Let's end it at with that one v one. Okay. Jinbei versus Kisame. Ooh. I have to say Jinbei. Jinbei. Yeah. First, I want to know who you pick. I mean. You say Jinbei too? Jinbei's good and all, but I'm, I'm wanting to go with Kisame on this. <laughs> Kisame? Alright, the only yeah. reason why I'm saying Jinbei because Kisame can hide in water. Jim, uh, Jinbei can control water. Easily, boom. Yeah. He, he can't hide, boom. Jinbei is a fucking tank. A but tank. Kisame, he's close to being a Jinjuriki. No, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not uh, forgetting that. But Jinbei is a fucking tank and can hit hard. He has. Uh, Not only that, he can use hockey. Yeah, I was about to say he has almanac and uh, observation. I don't think he if I don't think he has conquerors. He probably he does. Have the hockey. He probably does, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But almanac hockey easily can stop the uh, case of Mason. Easily. Right. Remember uh, when he was fighting one of the. Um, Higher ups and um, uh, fucking uh, can someone stop Lexi? Damn. But um, uh, Kaido's crew, the one that Jinbei was fighting. Yeah. Uh, he took the jaw, and supposedly that is hard enough to uh overcome ho- uh Almanac hockey. Right. And Jinbei still took that like a beast. Like a yeah. fucking beast. Anyone with no hesitation. He was who playing was with him at first. Who was it that Kisame lost to? Was it B or was it Guy? He killed his own self. Oh. Holy shit, yeah. So if Kisame was able to kill his own self, then... Holy shit. Then it's not... Yeah, you know what I mean? No, nah, yeah. Kisame, yeah. But you know who, ki- who how uh, he killed himself? How? He summoned sharks and had them eat, eat him. Who's a sh- who's a shark? Jinbei is a whale shark. Oh, true. And he can control animals. All the water water uh, animals he can communicate them. Help whale sharks. Boom. He's dead. Kisame can't use his sharks. And, uh, his sword, his sword would rather Jinbei. Rather Jinbei. I can tell you this right now. Would pull for Jinbei because Jinbei has enough power to withstand, uh, that sword's name. I can't think of it. Um, Darkskin? I, I don't know. It's not that name, but... Uh, he's, I, I'm going Jinbei because he can control water, he can control the sharks that, uh, Kisame summons, and Kisame can summon a big water bubble with mad sharks in there, and boom, automatic, Jinbei turns the sharks on back at, uh, Kisame. Right. Kisame is losing against Jinbei. Mid-diff, yeah. mid-diff. High-diff Kisame, mid-diff, uh, Jinbei. Right. Easily. Kisame has to play so small, but his cockiness takes that the smartness away. He's smart. 
No doubt, Kisame is Fun. really powerful. Plus, his own thirst for battle could be his own downfall. Yep, and Jinbei is so... He's like a monk. He doesn't get angry, right. and if he does, it's bad. Right. He took the uh, the move that killed Ace. To the chest, same thing, and survived. And still got Luffy away. Right, right, right. And survived that shit. And still tried to stop Luffy from going on a rampage. Jim Bay is a fucking tank. And Jim Bay was able to hold his all against uh, Big Black Mom. Leader. And Big Mom. Yeah. Big Mom couldn't take Jim Bay's soul away. Now that you think about it, yeah, I think Jim Bay would win. Easy, not easily, but mid death e easy. Mid death yeah. easily. It would be a good battle. It would be a long battle because Jim Jim Bay would not go full out. I just fucking ideas randomly pop in my head. I just thought of another one, but we're not have enough time. We have ten minutes left. Will it take ten minutes? All right. Well, I'll just I'll just say it. What about what about Gara versus Crocodile? Ooh. That's good. They both. Actually, to be honest, what form of Gala? Bloodlust Gala or Adult Gala? Basically, when basically when they were both villains. When Crocodile is a villain, I'm gonna have to say Bloodlust Gala. When you know. So are you saying Bloodlust Gala versus Crocodile? Yeah. Priest, pre uh, Marine Ford, or uh, time skip, or when Luffy fought him. Uh, when Luffy fought him. Okay, aw, uh, damn. Damn, that's a good one. That's a real fucking good one. Because Bloodlust Gara, he was, you know, the one that summoned Shikaku. Yep, but Crocodile is so small. Definitely IQ and Battle IQ is stronger, is better than Gara. But I feel like Gala is more tankier than uh, Crocodile. Plus the sand armor. That's what I'm saying. The defense. Oh, yeah, yeah. defense too. With Gala. Uh, damn. But the thing you need to think of. Crocodile can turn into sand. Right. Gala and can't. Like, and he can literally absorb moisture from everybody else, turning them to sand. Yep. So Louis Crocod all Crocodile has to do is turn into sand and go right underneath Gala and poison him with his, uh, cl uh, uh, hook. Hook, right. Then, then just toy with him. Boom. Crocodile can do that. Crocodile is smart enough to think of that easily. But... Gara would be like, you know, Krip would be like uh, bloodthirsty and like clever enough to make a clone of Santa by himself. True, but would go with because at that time Gara wasn't really uh, worrying about people hitting him because he right. never got hit till uh, uh, Sasuke. No, not Sasuke, him. not Sasuke. Sasuke, uh, actually, yeah, Sasuke, Sasuke. Sasuke was the first one. Yep. Lead. Yep, so, uh, but I really feel like Gala would not have enough time to fight in, uh, uh, his ch ch uh, what is the, uh, Tail Beast name? Uh, uh Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. I feel like Chicago will not be fighting as long because if Gala, uh, Crocodile got Gala poison. He's not. He's not. Yeah, but if Gara would to die, Shikaku would die. That's and the thing Shikaku, I'm saying. And Shikaku, he wouldn't want his life to be in danger, so obviously he would come out. Oh, no, at the time, uh, Shikaku didn't care if Gara died. Because but he care, but he cares if Shikaku dies. He's but, uh, Shikaku's only looking out for himself. Yeah, so. but if what we think if uh, a Chinchoki dies, the Tail Beast dies. They don't. They just they'll uh the Chakra brings them somewhere else, and they right. got get reborn after a couple years. I think that's they. So Shikaku would not. 
kill. Because he hates if, humans, remember? So wouldn't, if Gara would die, wouldn't Shikaku just come out and be unsealed? Yeah, uh... That, uh at the beat, when Gara is weakened enough, yes. But when Gara dies, he would, uh, be brought somewhere else. And then Crocodile would win. Right. Because all if Crocodile does that, all he has to do is not get hit. And wait till the poison hits. And his poison is pretty powerful. Look how fast it affects Luffy. Right. So, uh, Gaul to, uh, no, Shikaku to realize Gaul is about to die. Then he to come, come out, go on a rampage, try to kill Crocodile, cut can't, because he will not have enough time. That's why I think. But what's what's your your side? My side. Mm -hmm. My side is it would probably be a bit of a stalemate, but if Gara was you know not bloodthirsty, if he was the Kazakagi now, then Gara would obliterate Crocodile. <laughs> okay, if we bring in that up, if we bring it up, uh, Hoka uh, Kage, Gara. Gaul would have been so much smaller and so much more strategized and he'd have more hand to hand combat. So right. I would say I would still say crocodile because the poison and stuff. And he would not worry about uh Shikaku because uh Gaul doesn't have Shikaku at that time if we're thinking about before he loses it or after. Which one are we talking about? Shikaku or no Shikaku? Uh, no Shikaku. So, it would be faster to kill Gaara, but it would be more difficult. But right. I still have to say Crocodile. I still have to say Crocodile just because of the poison. Gaara has nothing t against poison. Nothing. And Wouldn't he still have the armor of the sand? He will because that's his mother's soul protecting him. But still right. the same thing that I said in the tuning exam, uh, Gaara. If Crocodile goes right into sand, go under, and come up and just nick him. It can be a little nick of poison and boom. Right. That, the poison just wins it for me. If Crocodile didn't have the poison, I have to say Gaara. Because the, uh, the seal pyramid he has... But crocodile with poison w would be more slick with that and be more trying to get up close so Gaul would not have no space to do it. Doesn't he ever get the gold sand, though? Uh, no. He doesn't. Mm. But, but when he... Actually... No, 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 he doesn't. But if he still had Shikaku, he could have done the metal sand. Oh, what about his son? metal bending or something like that. His father has the gold sand. What about his son? His son, uh, his son is a uh, metal, so I think he can get gold. Hmm. But I'm I don't know nothing about that. I stopped watching Boruto. Just got blown. Right. But uh, we have like two minutes left. I can uh, to do the outro now. So, uh, all right. If you have, if you want to say something before I do the outro, like your little 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 outro for yourself, then I can do the full outro. If you want to do that, we can do it. If you want. Uh, well, anyways, I just wanted to say, rest in peace, Mr. Akio Toriyama. You will be missed. Rest in peace. You, you've made my childhood completely. You've made my childhood a really big mystical adventure. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be the man I am today. So, thank you. I want to say I want to say thanks for bringing good ass anime afterwards, inspiring the younger, gener the younger generation that made these new uh, anime nowadays to be better than the old schools, but. They still need some work, but thank you for the inspiration of all of them um, writers that wrote all the anime nowadays. 
and thank you for making the big three because I love One Piece and Naruto was good and Bleach getting good and I'm coming to you next but this is the end of the video this is the oh not the video this is the end of the podcast I hope you guys like it and hopefully Raymond come back come next week if he right. can but if you like the podcast because it's back thank you thank you you're welcome or whatever but I hope you guys have a good one don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification button and be ready for the live stream Friday uh, remember Minecraft Mondays and of course Anime Wednesdays or Anime Talk Wednesdays see ya see ya bye bye what you gonna do? I'm good, I'm, I'm cool On you, I should, I fuck hoes On you, I'm